A new online war is being waged for your vote, but beware, not every website is as it seems. A Google search for Democratic congressional candidate Dominic Recchia could take you to this site, dominic recchiacom At first glance, this looks like it might be his official campaign site, but it's not. It's actually an anti-Recchia site created by the National Republican Congressional Committee. The site and others like it are part of a new effort by Republicans to get out their message for the midterm election through websites which use Democratic candidates' names in the URL. Some voters say it's confusing. I donated $250, but it went to the wrong side. Ray Bellamy, a Florida doctor, says he went to one of the sites and thought he was donating to Democratic congressional candidate Alex Sink. Instead, his money went to the National Republican Congressional Committee. The NRCC later refunded Bellamy, well, but he feels duped. I, I felt like the whole thing was kind of a fraudulent effort at uh, sort of a political dirty trick. The NRCC currently has up about 15 mock sites using the names of Democratic candidates. The sites are raising money and spreading negative research. The target here is a casual voter, someone who may or may not vote, may or may not know anything about the candidates. Bill Hughes, running for Congress from New Jersey, is being targeted. These ads are deceptive. Uh, they're juvenile. The NRCC declined repeated requests for an interview, but provided ABC News with this statement. These sites continue to get the truth out about Democrat candidates, the vast majority of whom refuse to disclose on their own websites that they support Obamacare. Voters deserve to know the truth about these Democrats. A nonpartisan group has filed a complaint with the Federal Election Commission. If it said people against Pelosi or voteagainstpelosi.com, then that would be okay. But what you can say is pelosiforcongress.com. That's illegal. Whether it's legal or not, voters using the Internet need to pay close attention. Tamon Bradley, ABC News, Washington.